Hello students. Previously, we watched Secret of the Kells, a fictional movie about the making of the Book of Kells. Uh, the Book of Kells is a very real, detailed book of art that is kept in Dublin, Ireland, and it's almost 2,000 years old. I loved the movie. I loved the art style. I saw it maybe three or four years ago on Netflix. I really loved that in the film there were so many Celtic and Irish art forms. When the snow is falling, you can see that they're not regular snowflakes. They're actually like Celtic knots that are falling from the sky, which is some of the art that you would see in the Book of Kells. And when you see the fireplace and the shadows that are made there, those are actually images that are like replicated from the Book of Kells. And as humans, we see art as an important part of the human experience. In art class, we will be making our own illuminated letters. You get to choose your own letter. It could be the initials of your name or perhaps your full name or a word that you like, like love or art, or it might just be a single letter. Uh, we're gonna make these in the style of the Book of Kells for art class. You will get a piece of paper like this. One side is a little bit darker than the other side. And when I made mine, I decided to use the darker side because it looked older. So you will search on Google for illuminated letter and then your letter. So my first name is Sarah. So I wrote illuminated letter S and I started sketching things. I printed out the ones that I really liked. And you're going to fill the page, make it big. It's also thick paper, so you're not gonna be able to trace it. I ended up choosing this style of S. I also have this book of ornamental initials and you can find your letter like mine S. And I also have this resource on my cart, draw animals from the book of Kells because maybe you wanna put an animal with your letter. I put a fish and a rabbit with mine. I also did several sketches before I did this uh, where I wrote out my whole name and I started adding some other things. I wrote out Love Will Bring You Back. This was a popular song in the 90s. Love will lead you back. My initials, Sarah Marie Tiamogo with my dog and cat. Make your pencil lines erasable. So you wanna start out very lightly and then go over it in pen or black. Pencil is not black, it's gray. It's gray. Don't add every detail in with pencil. So I found that out when I was doing this, that if I drew all of these little lines with pencil, going over them with pen again is laborious. So I just did that with pen because I knew I could do that without making any mistakes. Here's our five step process we're going to use. One, you're going to pencil it lightly. Two, trace in black. This can be a black colored pencil, a black marker. I may have some finer point black pens on the cart. You're going to erase some pencil lines because you're only going to marker over the parts that are the best, right? Then you're going to color and I suggest colored pencil. The last step is one we're going to do next week and that's gold paint. The gold paint that I have, it's metallic copper. Um, it does look shiny on here. It looks shiny, but I want to bring some gold in. So I'm going to go to Walmart. I'm going to see if they have gold paint. That's what we're doing. I can't wait to see what you make. 